most important thing is to establish an education through which human beings learn once again how to live with one another. The most important thing is to establish an education through which human beings learn once again how to live with one another. The author of this quote, Rudolf Steiner, claimed that in the future, no human being will be able to rest if they know that another human being in the world is in pain. How do we educate children now to accelerate this very powerful goal? Teach subjects imaginatively and artistically so that students are encouraged to think independently and creatively. Teach so that students make heartfelt connections to subject material, so that they love science, math, and history. Teach students to work together, to forge meaningful and caring relationships with each other, their school, their community, and their world. Why? Because the world needs people who have heartfelt thinking. Because we need people who feel connected to their community and care about their community. We need people who have the fortitude and the will to actually get out into the world and do the good work. I believe every teacher can accomplish this goal in every classroom. Rather than animating computer screens, let's encourage animated conversation in the classroom. Rather than assign boring textbooks, let's bring the past back to life through the art of telling his story as well as her story. Rather than teaching to and stressing over standardized tests, let's activate deep, critical thinking and problem solving. <laughs> let's transform mainstream education so that every student engages academically, artistically, physically, and socially. So here are two academic lessons one math and one history. How do we get fourth grade students to engage and be excited about fractions? How do we get them to wrap their minds around a fractured number, a number less than one? We teach fractions concretely and, and artistically. So in mainstream workbooks, you've probably seen how pizzas pizza slices are used to demonstrate fractions. Well, if you really want to get your students' attention, bake a whole pizza pie from scratch with them in the classroom. Let them see the whole pizza and then devour it fractionally. Abstract concepts made concrete. Students completely immersed and bellies full. Try teaching fractions through music. So in my class, in grades one through three, I taught my students how to play flutes by ear. But in fourth grade, I'll take musical notation and time signature and relate those to fractions. At first, the students work individually and try to relate these abstract dots on the page to the music fingering they already know so well. But to learn a new tune as one whole class, students must practice and help each other, listen to each other, problem solve, and get it together so that they can actually learn this one new song. Let's look at one history lesson from seventh grade. But first, who is the seventh grader? 12, 13 years old, entering puberty, often aloof, particularly toward adults. 
also maybe self-absorbed, but often vulnerable, looking for a peer group, looking for a way to fit in. These young adolescents need worthy role models. So imagine this. The classroom is silent, the lights go dim, the story begins. Long ago, in a 15th century rural French village, there lived a 12-year-old girl who heard God tell her to leave her family, leave her home, and go save her country from English invaders. She was so committed to her vision that she defied the church and proclaimed that God spoke directly to her. She defied gender norms and wore a suit of armor and commanded an army. She rode with soldiers into battle and put herself in harm's way to spur on their courage. Yet she, being personally against violence, carried only a banner into battle, no weapons. She ultimately gave her life. She, Joan of Arc, was burned at the stake. Seventh graders passionately relate to this biography. Their thinking hearts are ignited to ask questions, to defy authority, to act on their beliefs and do the good. In sum, enable students to think with their hearts, to feel connected to each other, and to develop their will to change their world. Thank you.